I'm not going to tell you what Rico just said. Might be ruled as offensive. It is not offensive. What's not offensive, unless you're really soft, the Big Ten power rankings. David, <laughs> this is exciting, people. And by exciting, I mean completely ridiculous. We're one week in, but we do this. <laughs> because it's football, and we're excited. And Lord knows I watched every one of these teams play. Let's get into it. We start at the bottom. We make our way to the top. We share a few thoughts and opinions along the way. Let's start with Rico Beard, who's the worst team in the Big Ten, number 14. Nebraska Cornhuskers. I think uh, Scott Frost was on Indeed.com this morning. I'm going Northwestern. They lost too much. Losing to MSU is one thing. Getting punked is another. I think that's a really bad football team. Worse than number. Wow. Don't Nebraska. worry, because at number 13, I have Nebraska. Oh. The only reason is Nebraska showed some competency in beating a 1AA in Fordham 60-7. to And maybe, just maybe, maybe um, they can get better with Northwestern. They're coming off of a high, lost so much, and I'll say it to you again. Where are their weapons? Where? I don't have it. Yeah, at number 13 for me is the team that beat Nebraska, and they went out and lost to University of Texas, El Paso, or San Antonio, or somebody. One of the directional schools in Texas, Illinois. Number 12, I have Purdue. Um, it was a win over Oregon State, Pac-12 doormat, but it was sloppy. It was not pretty. I still don't know that Jeff Brom is ever going to get this thing where he needs to go. I will need to see a lot more from Purdue. I think they're better than the two teams I listed, but that's about it. At 12 for me, I have the Northwestern Milecats. That was bad, Rico. It was bad. Not Illinois, Nebraska bad. Okay. Um, 11, I do have Illinois. Now, look, Big Burt, the romance, beating Nebraska to start the year. We talked about this game a little bit Friday. You could see that point spread shrinking, going down, 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 and down. It was like everybody knew, pop goes the weasel. Um, UTSA, pretty good conference USA team. They're not. Oregon State, like UTSA has beaten people. So no shame in it, but I'm with Rico. They're a bottom four team in the conference. There's a lot of work to be done. And, hey, Illinois beat my number 13. So it kind of falls in line. Yeah. Number 10. At number 11. I'm sorry. My, my bad. That's okay. At number 11, I forgot what you call them. I'm just going to call the University of Rutgers. It's the State University of New Jersey or okay. the Warriors of the Raritan. Okay. Rudigers. Rudigers. I'm going Rutgers at 11. Um, I'm going to go to number 10. This is a bold call. I may get made fun of for this. I'm putting Minnesota here, and here's why. The loss of Mo Ibrahim is bigger than just one player, and I know we'll talk about Michigan and the loss of Ronnie Bell. Ibrahim is the best running back in the Big Ten. He is an All-American. He is a guy who literally has never lost a yard on a single carry, and for Minnesota, who is so myopic offensively to lose Ibrahim for the season mm -hmm. I think it changes everything they're capable of and I think it really neuters them I, I know this is probably an overreaction by a bit but I thought that was the most damaging singular injury of week one I'm putting Minnesota at 10 yeah see I, I got Minnesota a little bit higher than that at 10 I have Purdue you beat Oregon State okay you don't have anybody really special on the team I don't think you're going to be that good, but you did win against Oregon State, so you're at 10. How is Bobby Antwerp still in school? Uh, I what is guess he, year 12? When you start as a freshman, it seems like you've been there forever. By the way, Cal has a seventh year, 34 year old defensive tackle. Well, we had the return guy, the uh, Brand uh, Sowers was there for mm. what? Mm -hmm. I think he played when. Uh, I have taken that. Low guest played. I've taken that out of my mind. He was there with low guest. I choose not to think about that. Let's go to number nine. I have Michigan. Now, again, much like Minnesota, Ronnie Bell out for the season is crippling. I don't care what you think of your other receivers. Ronnie Bell is the heart and soul of the team. Ronnie Bell is a playmaker. He's a sure-handed kid. No jokes about Penn State a couple of years ago. That kid's a baller. You take Ronnie Bell out of that. I think it's going to make facing you a hell of a lot easier. It's a nice win over Western. I didn't buy into Western the way Rico did. I just I don't know enough yet. And when you're number nine or eight or seven in the Big Ten, you're a six and six team. 
I'm going to say that. Hey, maybe Michigan goes out, beats UW this week. Looks like a very winnable game. And we move them up a spot or two. Right here, right now. You're one week in. You beat nobody. And you lost your best football player. That's not a good start. I'm going to put Michigan at nine. At nine, I got the University of Indiana. It pains me to say Mike Whoa. was right. Whoa. Um, I, I Because what I did, he did... Look, I, Iowa makes everybody look bad. That may be one of the three toughest places to play in the Big Ten, outside the, fans the horseshoe are all over you, and going to Penn State at night. Those are just three houses of horror. Yeah. It reminded me of Michigan State, I think, in two thousand nine when they were undefeated, and before you sat 40 down, forty to nothing. The score was twenty one to nothing, and the same thing happened. Two pick sixes. They didn't look right. Penix didn't look like he was completely healthy. I got Indiana at nine. Uh, number eight, I've got MSU. I think they're similar to Michigan. I think Michigan's similar to them. I'm not ready to crown anybody. I think MSU's a 6-6 six and six team. I've got them smack dab in the middle of the Big Ten. Kenneth Walker was fun. Not ready to turn him into Doak Walker. Uh, but competent. Thank you, Kenneth Walker, for allowing me to get inside Mike's house. That's in right. Ten seconds. Uh, but look, nice debut, beat a bad team, and they looked to have some competency. It's the same as Michigan. you got to go out. you got to do it week in, week out. I'm not ready to make anything bold with either in-state school. Rico so Mike a. hates everything about the state of Michigan. No, so I think at number both eight, the same. At, no, I'm basing it after one week, and after eight is going to be Minnesota. You lost uh, Ibrahim. Big-time thing. He had 3,000 yards. The next closest running back, I think, had like 400 yards. So P.J. Flex in a little bit of trouble. They played Ohio State well, and if Mo Ibrahim was still in here, even though they lost, I would have had I Minnesota a lot higher. I don't think they're going to be the same this year without him. No, and and and, and it's similar to Michigan. Wow, we're getting a little production value in there. Okay. Uh, number seven, I'll keep it simple. This could be the dumbest take of all. I have Rutgers. I believe in Shiano. I think they're going to go and have a seven-win year. I know it's Temple, but they still scored 60, and it was sexy. So I'm going to just put Rutgers there and wait for a little more. Yeah. Right, Rico, I, Rutgers what? or Michigan? <laughs> yeah. Texas. You might as well say Texas. You got Rutgers that high. At number seven, I I got the University of Michigan. You went out there. You did what you had to do. You beat Western Michigan. Yeah. You beat them soundly. Business-like. You're, you're, you're one and oh. You lost Ronnie Bell, which kind of is going to hurt you throughout the year. But I got Michigan at seven. Uh, six, I got Maryland. Rico's been all over it. It's Tua's little bro, but he's really good. And guess what? They played a real team. West Virginia is a real team. And here's something really I don't know that I've said ever. Maryland's defense played pretty damn well. That's a big-time credibility win. Maybe it's an overreaction. Who knows? It's why we do it. But I got Maryland at six. At six, I got Michigan State. You went on the road. You went to Northwestern. And, yeah, say what you want. There's no home crowd there. But winning a Power 5 game on the road, and you kind of dominated from the start – I got MSU at six. Five, I give you Indiana. They get a mulligan. I mean, they got drubbed at Iowa. It's a brutal place. You know I picked Iowa to win the West. I'm not going to kill Indiana for one week. But guess what? We're going to find out real quick. It's sink or swim time. They got Cincinnati coming to town in short order. Indiana, uh, If if will the real Slim Shady please stand up? One more performance like that, I'll tank them. At five, I give uh, Wisconsin a mulligan. Graham Mertz. You played against Penn State. Penn State's defense looked really good, which was shocking. I can't believe I'm giving them praise. They were outstanding. But I got Wisconsin at five. I put them at four. Um, split the difference there. I, I just Can we ask the question now, is Graham Mertz really good? It's one game. I mean, outside of the Illinois thing, uh, um, and he played well against Michigan. Like, what, what is Graham Mertz that I'm supposed to care about? He was dreadful. He's got a trademark. So. Not one, but two red zone turnovers, missing wide open receivers. I... When the, when the pressure was on, he didn't get the job done. I'll keep Wisconsin here because they're in the West. I'll keep them here because they have the best defensive coordinator in the Big Ten in Jim Leonard. But you know what? That really bothered me. Well, uh, go ahead. At four, I have the University of Maryland. I think Maryland's going to be a problem throughout the Big Ten East. <sighs> Looking at what they're doing with, with uh, Talia Tungavaloa, he made plays. He Mike. looked great. He came. They were down. He came back. He Big-time throws. They went out and recruited – Five, uh, three five-star wide receivers, and you saw them. They're a big-time playmaker. Danny Enos running that offense is all about the big plays. Now, the beauty for Michigan and Michigan State, you get to play them in November when it's a little colder, so they may not be able to throw the ball around. But for right now, 
they're going to be a problem for the. They're this year's Indiana. Number three, I got Penn State. I hate James Franklin, uh, but that's a big win for him. Yep. You go on the road, you beat a ranked team, you do it in a rock fight. But here's my trepidation: Is Sean Clifford really the best we can do at Penn State? Quarterback play mm-hmm. extremely limited, but that defense was legit. Oh, by the way, find a kicker quick. Yeah. But Penn State's number three. That's a big win. Same here for me. I got Penn State at three. All right, Iowa two. Iowa I picked, two. I picked them to win the West. I'm staying with it. I, you know, who led the league in interceptions last year. Iowa. You know who will bore you to death with too high cover and make you make mistakes? Iowa. Mm-hmm. Who's got one of the best home field advantages in the Big Ten? Iowa. They, didn't they lead? The, yeah, they led the nation. Yeah. I thought in turnovers. Yeah. And, yeah. and by the way. Ty Goodson is a big-time running back. Like, they've got better skilled players than you realize. They started the year with a bang because Indiana was one of the three toughest games, and they annihilated them. Yeah, so I'll put did. Iowa, two, And at number one, you know who Rico Ohio and I State. Have. Yeah. I mean, it's boring, but I, I, until... Take away the first half, that second half, my goodness. I think you saw what you, they're going to have at quarterback. Guess what? guess what? I know a lot of people He's see the get spread better. this weekend. Them laying 14 and a half to Oregon, and they're going to run to Oregon. Don't. It wouldn't surprise me in the least if Ohio State annihilated see, that thing. team. I saw 13 and a half. Lock up 13 and a half while you can. It's, hey, Anthony Brown. Two torn ACLs. BC transfer. Oregon transfer. Um, they're lucky they beat Fresno. I think they got a world of pain coming to them. Uh, That, my friends, that is the Big Ten Power Rank.